explain. I know, I know you can. You're a very, very gifted storyteller. That's it. Dude, would you just tell her, just tell her the truth. Like, just tell her the truth. Just cut his dick off. That's what I would have done. Shit, if you I was Norman. <laughs> Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Cherry Bite Reacts here back with another reaction to Law. Season 3, it's on its way, man. Uh, episode 2, yes sir, of Season 3, man. Um, episode 1 was very entertaining. Gave us an update on what's going on since Jack, Sawyer, Kate. Um, I wonder what's going on with... I wonder if Michael and... What's his name? Walt. <laughs> Walter is going to come back to the show or did they get off the island like for real for real um so i'm also wondering about that so last episode it kind of dealt with jack show us a little bit more about jack's obsession or stubbornness if you will but i kind of sided with him a lot on a lot of stuff based on what he went through like most i believe that most men would spiral in those situations even though you might say you, should, you gotta maintain your masculine frame, man. But I, but you also gotta understand that that's your wife. You know what I'm saying? That's the woman you love with. He was so in love with this woman that he, you know what I'm saying? He kissed a woman by mistake. Uh, well, uh, let's not let's not say it's a mistake. Let's go as far as to say he wanted to do it because he said he kissed her back, and he went home immediately and confessed that this happened only to hear that this woman has already been cheating on him all this time <laughs> you know what i'm saying this whole time now tell me if you wouldn't spiral a little bit even if it's not a lot as it's go to the distance of you know to be stalking your ex-wife right because they're not divorced yet they're going through the process they're not even divorced yet and this woman is around going around with this dude that's been boinging her behind your back like how do you not feel some sort of way about that? You know what I mean? Um, and everybody's telling you, just let it go. Just let it go, Jack. Just let it go. Okay? It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not that big a deal. You know? Just, just let it go. <laughs> but I don't see it that way. But anyways, if you want to see my comments on that and how I talked about it, it's in the last video. I talked about it extensively. You're in the video and also in, in the review. <laughs> <laughs> as well but you guys know what you're here for if you're not enjoying um the way how i do my videos man by all means find somebody that's just doing it quick and hot takes you know for you and they <laughs> they don't do anything they just react and sit there and say well all the time <laughs> you know um don't want to go there but either way guys join the patreon <laughs> so you can get early access to these videos man so we're far far ahead um we're in season three i think what is it six seasons or it's seven seasons i think it's six seasons of lost so we'll get there when we can but if you want to get early access as i said by the time you guys are seeing this on youtube we should be i don't know where we're gonna be by the guy time you guys are seeing this video because you guys might not see this specific video until next year sometime who knows we got like about two episodes a week i'm planning to bump that up to three episodes a week but we'll we'll see how things go for now um but either way let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review is this is this a young son i'm guessing it is has she been afraid of her dad getting 
그럼 누가 깨뜨렸어? 양하는 아지마. 그치 얘기했지. 내말 알아듣겠니? She doesn't care. 누가 깨뜨렸지? 양하는 아지마가 그랬어요. 알았다. 문 열어봐. 괜찮아요. 그냥 입덧 타는 거예요. 진수 씨. Oh yeah, they still out here on the boat. I forgot. My husband says it's time to leave. 그들은 오지 않을 거야. He doesn't think Jack and the others are coming. It's been over a day since we lit the fire. Jack knows we're out here. He's counting on our signal. Perhaps he's not able to see the smoke. If he's north of us, the mountains would block his view. We need to sail forward along the coast, clear the mountains, and start another signal fire. <laughs> she said no. I told Jack I would light a fire. I'm not abandoning him. My husband thinks we have to do as he says, because he's the only one who knows how to sail. I can help too. you sell the boat. Apparently, Jen is finding out a lot of things about Sun that he didn't know. <laughs> oh, he's observing. So you gotta. What? Am I interrupting something? Would it really matter Who if you is were? this Abby character from The Last Abby of Us 2? I don't even remember. It's the buff want. chick. I him back to the shore. Then they have a sailboat. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah. Loading. How quickly can you put together a team? Within the hour. And don't waste time talking to us. This is clean. I want that boat. <laughs> to bring them to the boat. What's this? Lunch. We're going to need you to keep up your strength. Is that right? Danny, wait. Hold up. Oh, she does look hella buff when she came down the ladder. She's not buff. What's wrong is I'm married. She didn't fucking sleep with the dude, bruh. How they gonna leave this? Uh, they just leave this up in the air in season two. Dude. <laughs> They left this up in the air in season two. I was speculating about it because I was like, maybe she didn't. But she did sleep with it because it makes sense. It makes it's just like and then she blamed it on the island. Then she blamed it on the She did sleep with the dude. It's his, it's his kid because Jen can't have kids. Jen is practically sterile. You can't have kids now. <laughs> this is the immaculate conception that <laughs> she's trying to convince you of. This is gonna be crazy if, she, if he ever finds out. I do. Is this after you slept with him or before? Yeah, no. Samashi. Samashimanyo. Oh wait, let me. Give you a gift. I don't want to share you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I, I was you. You owned a you part of me, now. sir. That <laughs> was you. Me. You don't want to share. She's not yours. Hey, they coming in. You don't moji. They got do gunji. Oi. Pejangin. I got more of my son. Yo, yo, his career is done, bro. <laughs> yo. That daddy don't play. I said shocked. If you talk to each other, you're gonna be shocked. If you touch each other, you're gonna be shocked. If you're slacking, you're gonna get shocked. Matter of fact, you do anything at all that pisses me off, you're gonna get shocked. 
okay? <laughs> I could shock you right now. <laughs> now that was a quarter charge. You got any more questions? I wonder why he didn't you shot her. Girl girl's right over there. Why didn't he shot Kate? She's the one that bugged him. You don't want to mess it. Mm, I knew it. He's not going to want to mess it. He's trying to actually help him. He can't even, he doesn't want to tell. And he ashamed them too, but he doesn't want to tell him. If I was the daddy, I would have told him. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know he would have took this route. Others. The dog's decaying. It's overgrown. It looks like it hasn't been used in quite some time. Whoever built it, they're not here now. That's not good. Either safe. way. Yes, Jim. Of course it's safe. Now, no, that's not safe at all. Keep working. Did you see another guy in there with you? About my age, named Carl? No. It's just Sawyer and me. Where'd you get that dress? They gave it to me. It's mine. Wait, wait. You having fun yet, Freckles? Hey! He told you not to talk to Shut each up. other. Boss ever. It's like, hey, shut up. <laughs> Why are you lying to me, Saeed? And what would you know about lying, son? I'm fairly certain our friends have been captured. There are tracks all over the dock. They're fresh. As recent as yesterday. You said this dock was abandoned. You're not building this fire for our people. Building it for building them. It for the others. I suspect that when they see the smoke, they'll send a scout party to investigate. I'll take two of them hostage, and I'll kill the rest. Two? Mm. One to make the other cooperate. What do you need me to do? I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to lie to Jim for another 20 minutes. Why? Because once the fire is lit, it will be too late to go back. Or he could just level with Jin. Jin just wants to keep Sun safe, so he might spaz out and turn back. Sun is wrong, bro. I... Listen, I understand why she did what she did, but she's in the wrong, man. I'm in the wrong, man. 나를 아들이라고 부르셨어. 갑자기 왜요? 아버님만의 상술이시지. 그래서 당신 그일할 거예요? 해야 돼. 당신 생각처럼 그게 그렇게 쉽다고 생각해? 우리 아무도 없는 곳으로 가서 처음부터 다시 시작해요. 우리 도망가면 당신 아버지가 아빠가 찾을 수 없는 곳을 가면 되잖아요. 나도 너무 슬프지만 이게 다 당신을 위해서야. 다 당신과 결혼한 대가겠지. 나도 당신이랑 결혼해서 치른 대가가 있는 거 몰라요? 어디 가요? 일하러 가. I don't think I understand. 자기야. 
Gee, what is it? He knows what we're doing. He knows it's a trap. He knows I betrayed him. Gone. Can you handle one of these? It's an automatic. He don't know Jin. Jin. Jin is always ready, my guy. What do you mean? <laughs> Decision. Son. If by chance they get past us, there's another gun. Shit must hurt, man. Oh. Okay. Hey! 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 Oh. Why didn't it work? Back off! Put the gun down. What are you gonna do? Shoot her? <laughs> I'd be like, you're not gonna shoot Kate. Well, maybe that's the reason why she asked for Sawyer first and not Jack. <laughs> At the very least, you'll get it done. That's all. That's it. 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 You know, I'm in this bitch. <laughs> he killed himself. That's not good because he was just beating him up. Don't think they're coming. They already they're taking the boat. I want you to let me off this boat. Do you realize there are five of my friends up there? Lower your voice. Okay. I know you, son, walk one. And I know you're not a killer. Despite what you may think, I am not the enemy. You know my name, I don't know we yours, bitch. We're not friends. It's because they're going to have to kill me. I will. I'll shoot you. Oh. Yep. Yep, told you to stop. You want to run up on somebody that has a gun. What the hell is wrong with you? They must have heard that. Get out of the boat, son. Damn. Get out. Please get out, son. She got shot. Anybody feel sorry for y'all? Is this a flashback? <laughs> I thought this was like a funeral for Connie or whatever his name or name is that got shot on the boat. <laughs> if he does. Exactly. It really isn't. I'm actually, actually on his side, and this guy is a douche. <laughs> a mur literally a, a, a murderer. Right? Tell him what happened. And please communicate to your husband. The next time, I will listen to him. We should go. We have a long walk ahead of us. Jesus Christ. Are y'all going to wait until the others tell, tell Jim? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Cause they know all about son. The hell were you thinking? I couldn't help myself. You just look so damn cute swinging that pickaxe. Two of those guards got some real fight in them. The rest of them I ain't that much worried about. That heavy set guy. Packs a hell of a punch. Did you see the look on their faces when you got a hold of that rifle? I'm guessing most of these boys never seen any real action. That blonde who had a gun pointed at you? She would have shot you. No problem. I noticed something else, too. You taste like strawberries. <laughs> this man. It tastes like fish biscuits. Now we wait for these bastards to make a mistake. Sooner or later, they're gonna let the guard down. He can hear everything, bruh. We're gonna be there to put them in their place. They can hear everything. You know what's crazy, Jack? A week ago, you and I were in exactly the opposite situation. Yeah, that's not I was funny. The one off and you were the one coming yeah, in for visits. It's ironic. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. If I'd have told you I was one of those people that you and your friends have been calling others all this time. It would have been right back to Saeed and his fists. I want for you to change your perspective. And the first step in doing that would be for me to be decent enough to introduce myself honestly, so. I'm Ben Shapiro. <laughs> uh, my name is Benjamin Linus. Benjamin I've Linus. Been on this island all my life. All his life. We're Kate and Sawyer. They're fine, and they're close. That's all I'm able to tell you right now. You tell me anything you want. Fair enough. If you cooperate, we send you home. Cooperate with what? When the time is right, I'll tell you. You tell me it. now. Patience, Jack. Patience. Home. If you could leave this island, why would you still be here? Yes, Jack. Why would we be here? That is the question. You're stuck here just like we are. You don't have any... Your flight crashed on September 22nd, 2004. That's how we know that during those 69 days, your fellow Americans re-elected George W. Bush. Christopher Reeve has passed away. Boston Red Sox won the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody laughs at that. That's actually true. Besides the Red Sox. No, they were down three games tonight. Yeah, they were down. The Yankees yeah. The league championship, and then they won eight straight. Sure. Yep. Sure. And they went on to sweep the World Series. I remember that <laughs> year very vividly because I'm a Yankees fan. <laughs> It was nuts. That's home, Jack. Right there on the other side of that glass. And if you listen to me, if you trust me, if you do what I tell you when the time comes, I'll take you there. I'll be like, all right, let's do it. What you want me to do next? You got some money you want me to kill? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Either way, um, this was interesting. It was an interesting episode. Um, of course, as loss goes on, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's talk about episode two of season three for Lost Man. This was um, also a very good episode when it comes on to them flashing back to Sun. And the thing about it is this, right? I don't like what Sun did. They're also kind of not really telling us if she slept with the dude or not it doesn't it I, it kind of seemed like it was after they did something and he wanted to do it again or it could be that she stopped it before it went too far um could be that type of situation just kind of tease it because they probably don't know what the audience reception is to this because they're probably you know probably son may be a fan favorite and they didn't want to like mess up her reputation already but it's already there for us to see just outright just tell us because we already are saying that she slept with another dude 
and that's how she became pregnant. Now, if you want to keep the mystery of immaculate conception on the island, because Jin can't have kids, right? If you want to keep that into it, that's it's a good way to plot that in. But at the same time, you can't be showing us up, you, you know, a backstory of her waking up in bed with another dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But either way, um, I think it's going to be revealed sometime later in the series. If they choose to do so, I'm hoping that they do because it's kind of left up in the air. Because as I told you guys the last time they did, I was like, I don't believe what they're saying. Oh, it's the island. Like, I don't believe that. Okay. So you're going to have to come up with a better explanation than that because I'm not convinced that the island made you have some immaculate conception like it's it's just not gonna work with me so um either way greatly told backstory and i try to kind of like talk about the backstories because not much is going on on the other side of things they're kind of gearing up for 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 the new season so we're gonna kind of like talk about the backstories and why characters are doing certain things that they're doing i wish she would just tell jen to get it out of the way so we can see his reaction towards finding that out because I, I i don't think it's gonna be good you know what i'm saying i don't think he's gonna like kill her or anything like that i just don't think he's gonna mess with her that heavy i don't think he's gonna wanna because that's dishonor of the the highest disrespect that you can do to a man is to you know sleep with some other dude you know i can't have kids but he's chalking it up to the island so i kind of think kind of think jen is kind of like smoking something real <laughs> real tough right <laughs> he's he, he on that high pack you know what i'm saying he on that high pack because i'm not believing that for a second because if the fact of the matter was that i am the one that's sterile right was it ever revealed to him i'm trying to remember if the if if he knew you know what i'm saying like if she ever told him that it he was the problem not her you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't her. She is. She was fine, right? She was fine, but he's the one that was terrible. But the doctor didn't want to tell him that it was him, so he, he blamed it on her. You know what I'm saying? So she was just out here being like, "Oh, I can't have kids. Let's let me just go bust it down real quick." You know what I'm saying? And I think in that moment, also, she probably thought she, she probably still thought she couldn't have kids, but she was like trying to make excuses. That's why I think she actually slept with the dude. Um, but in this episode, it kind of showed the backstory of her father finding out, like catching her literally in this man's bed. And let me tell you something, man, Asian culture, you don't, you don't do that. You will, you probably will get killed by that. That's, that is disrespect on the highest level that you can go when it comes on to a man uh, and a woman dynamic man like you just don't do that and in some countries you get killed for that man you probably even sentenced to death by law you know what i'm saying for infidelity like that's it's not a joke <laughs> it's not a joke man um so you know um if, if and, and it's the same thing i'm gonna give her the same energy talk i mean she been trying to talk to him about certain things but you also got to understand you know who your daddy is you've been afraid of this dude since you were a kid you were lying to get out of trouble you were lying to get out of trouble this entire time bro you know who your daddy is you've been afraid of been afraid of him right and you understand why jen can't just walk away he's like oh we'll go somewhere you'll never know where we are this man has reach Okay, this man has reason. It's gonna be hard for Jin to think that anywhere that I go, this man is not going to find me. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of it's kind of tough situation both of them is in, and she been trying to talk to him about certain things about you know getting away and stuff like that because she knows who her dad is. But she also got to consider on the other spectrum of things where he's coming from, as in he's saying, I don't think there's any escape from this. You know what I'm saying? Now he's leaning on. He's like, you don't get to quit. Okay. Well, when a boss is telling you that, that means this man is probably willing to kill you if you quit. Okay. Take it serious. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't get to quit. 
okay, uh, it's not no regular job. You, you know what I'm saying? You want me to tell the cops that you've been going around beating up my clients? Like they could lie about that stuff. Like it's, it's, it's a, we, it's a very complicated situation that Jin is in and he really is doing this all for her. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's really doing this offer because he never knew that that's the kind of stuff that the dude was into. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't know that he'll be essentially working for a gang. You know what I mean? He didn't, he, he had absolutely no idea. He thought, oh, I told you dad, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give me a, uh, you know, he's going to give me a job, you know, higher up in the company. I'm going to work for him for a year. That's a part of the, that's a part of the, the incentive. You know what I'm saying? It's like, cause you know, father got to give the daughter away right so he's like oh good. just work for me for a year get your foot under you whatever so he kind of bamboozled Jin into get it to taking a job because he didn't know what the dad was really you know what i'm saying all about it's like oh if you want to marry my daughter come work for me for a year whatever now you're stuck in this you're stuck in this conundrum you know of situations that you didn't want to get involved with all this crime and violence and, and stuff that is going on with the dad and now you're stuck in it and now you're trying to get out and you can't get out right so i mean i can understand where he's coming from but this is perfect you know now he's out he's on the island <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so escape from that situation now a lot of people will say you know he should leave her i don't think in this situation I, that's not what i'm advocating for i'm not saying that jin should leave her if he ever should find out i think he should still because i mean it's on the island new life you know what I'm saying? Um, she needs the help and he still loves her. So at the very end, even if he doesn't find out, I think, I, I think if he doesn't find out cool, if he does, you know, I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think he's going to abandon her fully. I think he's going to be very disappointed. Um, and he, you know what I'm saying? Cause he always comes home. If you get my meaning, he always comes home, you know what I mean? So it's it's very understandable to see you know to see Jin from the perspective of you know just him seeing him forgiving her for doing this and moving forward because they you know having someone is better than having no one you know what i mean so the situation that's going on on the island where you know dude is like yo i can get you home you know what I'm saying, Jack? If you cooperate, I could get you home. Sawyer doing his thing as well, trying to figure out. But he doesn't know that they're listening to everything that he's saying because he's thinking that he did something, you know, tremendous right now. But they're being watched 24-7. And I think what's going to happen is Sawyer is going to um, try something or they're probably going to separate them because of this or whatnot. Or maybe we're just underestimating them because I don't think... I don't think I don't think she would have shot Kate. You know what I'm saying? I think Sawyer is probably reading too much in that situation because they know they know everything about them. They probably know they more than likely know that Sawyer is a con artist. So he's probably trying something. So they probably put him in a situation where to think he has the upper hand, but really he he does not. You know what I'm saying? Um she got a serious right hook. You know what I'm saying? Old girl Juliet or whatever her name is, right? She got a serious right hook. When she knocked out Jack, I was I was just like, yeah, yeah, right. That's why I said, yeah, right, because... <laughs> Bruh. And she didn't even flinch either. She, didn't even, she just knocked him out and she didn't, even flinch. she didn't even flinch, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a tall order. That's a tall order. It's not very, it's not easy to knock a person out when you, especially if you're a female that doesn't even look that buff or strong. Like, you know what I mean? Like I guess, you know, she she is a doctor, if you will. So maybe she knows the right place to hit a man to knock him out completely. So let's just chalk that up to TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? So other than that, man, is um episode was pretty cool. I'm glad that Saeed kind of apologized to Jin because he kind of put them in that situation. Old girl Connie is going back in the box, and I don't I I, I don't feel not one iota of sorry <laughs> for her. She they deserve this because 
at the end of the day, what are they doing? We don't know what you're doing. You keep telling us you're going to take us home and all of this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, what is the purpose of Dharma, this Dharma initiative? Why are you guys been on this island for all these years? What are you protecting? What is your purpose? Why are you kidnapping people? Why not just, why not help the people that comes on the island? Why kidnap them? These people don't know who you are. They have no clue. What is this secret you're, you're protecting? Because it's gotta be some secret they're protecting on this island that they don't want the rest of the world to know about. You know what I mean? So it's gotta be something. So hopefully, you know, later on in the series, they reveal what this was all of, what this was all about and why, you know what I'm saying? What's with the kidnapping? What's with the, the going around all of these corners? What's with the pretending that you guys are, you know, others? What's with the dressing up? What's it all of this stuff? What does it mean? <laughs> I'm asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Indeed. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I'm looking forward to the next episode of Laws. Of course, hopefully, guys, are enjoying this. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment on the video. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, everybody reacts, and I'm out. Peace.